Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact. This is part three of For a Tomorrow Without Tears. All of you shut up! All of you people talking! Ye! All of them talking when I'm trying to talk. Anywho, this is part three of For a Tomorrow Without Tears. And in the last episode, we tried to borrow, which is stealing the holy liar but it got stolen I'm, I'm walking over here i'm walking over here i'm walking over here all of them are talking we have tried to borrow aka steal the holy liar of which failed to do to a woman in purple um ending up taking it instead and who she's with i have no idea i still feel like she is with the uh the abyss mages i Cannot really tell. But Anything we are now going to be using the time ability to change the time to uh, zero to six, apparently. And we're going to see what we can do here at the tavern. Uh, let's actually do that. If I can. Uh, where is six? Oh, it's. But no. Oh, oh. oh so that, that's we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also have an achievement. Let me quickly. I sworn I claimed all the achievements that I've unlocked, but. Alright, now, go back to the tavern. Mm, not meaning to read the poster. I meant to go in the tavern and not read a poster. Okay. You're here. Yes, I am here. After being interrupted a couple of times out there during my intro, your people need to learn to shut up! Wait, <coughs> Wait, why... Why is... She here? Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. I, I did ask... Her, about her, in her name, not saying Grandmaster like the second choice was, but okay. A Jean you would never see even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. What's going on here? I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right. Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. That was quick. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. At least she's understandable and reasonable. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Yeah, because then people would question your authority. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui <clears throat> makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the storm terror issue. That too. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? <sighs> I 
already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. We don't often get to work together after all. Um, something I missed? Uh... <clears throat> oh, so you're the head. You're, she's the acting grandmaster, so that means you're the grandmaster. Wow, um, this is really awkward. Mm-hmm. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Okay. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. Okay. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo Gods' power. Uh... Uh, I'm guessing they want to kill Devalin? Right. Oh. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented <coughs> an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. Okay. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it. If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the seven nations. Outlander, ready to go? Where am I going? Uh, okay, let's go. Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take Devalin's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados's connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. Okay. The God of Animal? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Oh. Uh. Uh. uh huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, they're still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal <clears throat> level. Alright, so I'm being given a disguise. Do I actually get to put it on? Also, what's this? Oh, that's merchandise. Oh. Rumor has it that people have seen an odd person show up inside Mondstadt. They say that a merchant from Liu has been cruising around these parts claiming that he has a good deal which he could share with some partner. Huh. Okay. Do I have that outfit though? Like, do I actually have the outfit in the inventory, or is it only gonna work on this one quest? Okay, yeah, it looks like I, um... It looks like I don't get to really put on the disguise until I get to the area, so... I guess we're just gonna have to see what happens. What disguise I'm given. I wonder if it'll be like a feature of the game where, like, Characters can get like special outfits and you can choose what outfits for them to have. That would actually be a pretty interesting uh, Thing to add into this game that way people can like stylize their own characters If they like the disguises or outfits they're given or not, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like that We'll just have to see <clears throat> how the characters look so far is actually really nice, but it's just my opinion Okay, and that thing I opened about a person 
I'm like a mysterious person. I'm wondering if I'll run into them. It says that they're here in Mondstadt, but where would I find someone like that? Oh, hold the phone! I price. found him! That guy over there seems pretty chipper. Wonder what he's so happy about. I want to actually see what this guy is about. Libby. Friend, that we should meet means that fate has surely smiled upon you. Oh, I have an excellent business proposition for you. <laughs> if I could just have a moment of your time. Okay. Why do you merchant types always sound so suspicious? Oh, come now, don't be like that. The integrity of a Lua merchant is as steadfast as the Geo Archon themselves. Okay. It's simple. Every day you find me some basic items and trade them in here for a box full of exciting little curios. Bruh. Even the worst boxes have precious metals inside them, in the form of Mora cast at the Golden House, no less. That guy pushed me. <laughs> I noticed that whole time, like, my model just got shoved, but okay. Oh, my business model is a little too complex to explain right now, but if I have your consistent support in this business deal, then perhaps I will consider letting you in on how it works one day. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think, hmm? Interested? I'll give it a try, why not? Let's see what this looks like. Ah, uh, how do you need something? Um... This I was needed today are not as such. Flash. All I can think about is Daluk. <sighs> okay, I can give some. Of course yeah. Well. Already redeemed box of mar Oh. So. Okay. There are generally goods at the pleasing price. Worst case scenario, it'll top up your coin pouch. <clears throat> Oh, are these all that I get? Oh, I only get one chance. Okay. Let's start with this one since we're in the arrow area. Teachings of freedom and primo gems. Okay. So I'm guessing I give you materials now and then you allow me to have more chances? Hold on, what did he say? I didn't actually... Think about his D -Luke. Oh, Better okay. see oh. I want to read that again. I didn't really get to read what I said. I thought you already taken a box of marbles for today. That said, feel free to inspect the others. You'll see I don't uh, cheat any of my customers. I swear okay, so he's like a daily rewards thing. Now I have more books, and I was also told by one of my uh, good friends, uh, Placid, you all may have uh, remember or heard of him from my times with my friends uh, streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, he actually told me that apparently I could use those books to uh, also level up characters, I believe. Like, I've been getting all these books and I can level up with them. I'll have to ask him once again when I get a hold of him. Like, if it levels all of them up, or only the only like certain ones you choose the books, um, choose to read the books on the character you're on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that where I'll uh, off camera I'll like read the books because I don't think they have anything important that's story wise. But I'll make sure just in case to ask my friend as well, Placid. If the books are related to the story in any way, like if they're important to have read out or not, and if they are not, then I'll just continue. Aha! Get PD. Lots of food, lots of food. Wanted to make sure I cued that poor water was there. Enter the Fatui hideout. Okay. Looks like we're going in a dungeon. Here we go, here we go. 
Recommended elements. No electro is current. Mm. I needed electro. All right. All right, here we go. We're loading in. Paimon, the best travel companion. I will say Paimon is very adorable of a character. It's just she has the tendency to speak plans out loud like that last one with the treasure that was turned out to lie. But, I mean, I guess Kaya intended that because of Paimon's personality. But I still say she's a good character. Either way. <clears throat> Let's see what this place has to hold for us. What? Why are... Oh. This guy for free. Oh, I'll unlock this. Oh, resurrection activated. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Oh, he's a great sword user. Or oh, he's a heavy weapon user. I didn't think he was a heavy weapon. Yes, interesting attacks. Oh! Oh, that raised his damage. Go 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 Okay. Didn't think I would get damaged so soon. Anything down here? Uh oh. What? Yeah! Overload! of freedom. Let's get more books. Oh. Oh. No. No. Don't eat me. You're, you're human? Why'd you say don't eat me? Is there something here eating people? The entire floor's defenses have been broken. I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. How did you guys know the liar's here? Mm, besides one of yours stole it, and you answering it like that, I guess we found that to be true. The place it's being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins, but don't come after me. I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. Mm-hmm. You, you just worry about yourselves. One of the Eleven is already in Mondstadt. Signora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. I might just to... Uh, just to get you in trouble now. Especially if I find out that you might have lied. Did he say Signora? What a strange name. Number eight of the eleven goes by the name Signora. The fact that the two it can run amok across the seven nations like they do is entirely because of the eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought like I had to use fire arrows or anything to break it open, but I guess not. Okay, so there's someone named Signora waiting for us, no doubt. Okay, I'm gonna activate this. No, door in resurrection. Let's go to this one first, seeing as it's the closest one. Go, go, fairy bunny. Oh, I thought I had to fight you. Who, uh, who are you? How'd you get in here? We are Goodwill Ambassadors from Senzo Mondation Association? Never heard of that association before. What are you lot doing here? I 
I say yeah, we are investigating you for alleged corruption. What? How did you little brats creep in here? You take me for a fool? Maybe. Hmm. You're here for the liar, aren't you? Yes. And just how do you plan to borrow it? Um... Have an apple. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Think you can look down your nose at me, huh? The will of Shneznaya is as solid as the permafrost. I will not yield. Are you here to play with me? The more, the merrier. Okay, I think I get what I was supposed to do. Oh, now you've got me worked up. You're being really up. Oh. Um, why is everything freezing and lagging? There we go. Gotcha. Okay, so I think I get what I have to do. I have to look at their names and I have to like use that to know how to trick them into actually giving me information. So that one I accidentally failed. Seems like we turned this room inside out. But no key. Time Hater. to move on to another room. There's one room left that we haven't <coughs> Surely the key must be in there. Yeah, I definitely agree that it has to be in there. Oh, no. All we know is it's probably being held by that lady that the guy said would uh, approach us. What's this guy's name? Oh, he has a big enemy in that cage. Timid guard. Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, Give up and no, uh, no one's coming to rescue you? Did you already beat all the other guards? I mean, there was only one guy at the door who ran like a baby, and that guy who I didn't know I had to read their name really to know how to trick him, so I ended up fighting kind of his guard and beat her. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> Uh, yes, I kicked their butts. What? I, I'm not scared of you. A debt collector will come to my aid. He's saying a debt collector, but it says an agent will come to my aid. Uh, here we go. Backwards. <laughs> Subtitles with audio. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I dealt with him already. Mmm... Uh, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. All right. You're free to go. I have the key here. You can head in from the hall outside, but don't tell anyone that it was me who gave you the key. Okay. I'm guessing if I got it wrong, he would have released that thing to, a f to fight me, probably with another enemy as well. <laughs> Get close enough and he actually tries to fight. <laughs> uh, have fun in there. Yeah, yeah keep trying. You'll, you'll get me sooner or later. Alright, let's use the key. I wonder if there's anything up there. They wouldn't let me go. Nope, nothing's up here. <laughs> okay, back down they go. Hmm. Oh, yep. Elevator. Mm. 
Big room. Where did you rats scurry out from? Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. I so I'll be the one to take care of that. you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. I see it. Senora is going to end you. The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. <laughs> hey, at least I leveled up. Nice. And the Holy Liner Dohimel is now in our hands. Now, nothing else in here. Not even treasure chest? Okay, I guess we're out of here then. Leave the domain. Alright, so we're actually gonna have to end off this episode here because I am all out of time. Um, but do not worry, there will be more in store for everyone to see very soon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more when that day comes. Till then, I am going to end it here and we will see part four of this this quest that we're doing. Wow, my tongue got tied there. And we're going to see what we can do with the Holy Liar to save Storm Terror from its curse. So with that being said... Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, for your new viewers, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto my channel. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, and all of you, please have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone! It's delicious.